We are back in the Ozarks, hiking pedestal rocks and cooling off in some beautiful creeks. If this looks familiar, we are at the same spot we were at last weekend. But we have a special guest with us. Jonathan! <laughs> Sorry, I missed that kid. So the reason we are back here is because, holy moly, it is hot. I mean, hot. I'm sweating, dude. Yeah, so long. Look at him, look at that. That's but we have a storm rolling in. Yeah, look at their sweat. Yeah. I'm not that sweaty, but. Not that sweaty. Well, I haven't been doing much. I just did the bed stuff. But we're about to go down to a creek, hang out for a little bit. It is a little early. It's probably around 4, 4.30. Um, we have a storm rolling in. Hope it'll cool things off so we're prepared with our- this doesn't fly away. Well, we have a staked down. Well, we Should be fine. We can, before we can get out of our tent. Yeah, at and night, dryness. whatever we need to do. Yeah. But we're hot and sticky and we're gonna go down to the creek. So we'll see you there. It's actually really cool down here. Some clouds came in, it's like 77. So I think we're just gonna get even cooler. And then I'm gonna go back up to camp and cook dinner. Right guys, is that what you wanna do? Yes, cause I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Not that cold. It was nice getting in the water, but there's some quesadillas waiting on us back at camp. And number two, there's some thunder occurring. So we're trying to get back up there before it starts pouring down raining on us here. So we'll see you back at camp. We are back at camp and we are about to make those delicious quesadillas that Kelly made at Beaver Lake with the sweet potatoes, not butternut squash. That's what I had said last yeah, time. Yeah, sweet potato. <laughs> While we were gone, apparently, it poured down raining it didn't even rain on us and we were just 20 minutes away <laughs> down a dirt road which as far as the crow flies it's what five miles maybe three miles away yeah, not that far at all. it's not that far Big old but kelly are you ready to start cooking yes all right give us an intro uh tonight i'm making the sweet potato black bean quesadilla First thing I'm going to do is have my potato and I'm just going to peel the skin off of it. I usually do one potato if it's just me and Cody, but since Jonathan's here, I got two. But this is such a big potato, I'm thinking that this will be enough. Nope, you still need to do both. You think? Yep. Okay. I just know these things because this kid here, he eats more than anybody I know. More than me and you combined? Probably. Yes, he can eat a whole animal. <laughs> like it, I mean, a large one, like a cow. Like he would slaughter the whole thing and eat it. He would cook it all and eat it. And he would continue to eat. One time we were camping, he shows up with his friend, uh, Austin. Austin, we miss you if you're watching this right now. Ready to camp with you again. But he cooks, what were the sausages? Boudin. Boudin, Boudin. sausages, a steak, and a bed of potatoes. And what else? I don't remember. Some kind of veggies. and some it, was a, it was piled up like that tall. And it filled up a whole plate and it was some heavy quality food. It wasn't something light like a salad. It was a lot of food. And this kid ate it all. <laughs> all right, so after I've peeled the potatoes, I'm gonna slice them as I was uh, maybe frying some potatoes. Now that you have your potatoes sliced up, you wanna get your pan ready. I've got some oil. I'm gonna let that heat up quite a bit before I put my potatoes in there. All right, so my uh, pan is heated up. I'm gonna put my potatoes in, which Jesus, these are a lot of potatoes. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna fit, guys. Oh, you know, I'm gonna stir that up. All right, uh, I need my seasoning. So I've got some paprika. I'm going to put some pep paprika. Wow, that smells delicious. Actually, it's, it, hello. Oh. It's smoked paprika. That is what's going to work better for this recipe and some garlic powder. 
I'm gonna cover these and I may add some more seasoning since I have so many potatoes. I'm gonna let them cook for a little bit. So I've got some black beans here. I've rinsed off. I'm going to chop up some cilantro. You wanna chop it up pretty fine if you can. You're gonna take your cilantro and you're gonna mix it in with your black beans. I'm also gonna take some limes and some lime juice. All right, so the potatoes are done. I'm gonna move them onto the plate with the beans. So I'm using a Monterey Jack cheese, but you can use whichever one you want. Uh, I was gonna do the Colby Jack, but this is what I used the first time and it turned out really, really good. So I'm gonna try this again. Now I'm gonna build my quesadilla. I've got some tortillas here. Uh, first thing I'm gonna put on, I believe, is the potatoes. Add some potatoes. Then I'm gonna do some beans with cilantro. Some cheese. Flip it over. I'm gonna get my skillet going again. Shouldn't take long for it to get it hot since I just cooked the uh, potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it in there and I'll start building the next one. Quesadillas are done and they look delicious. So I think we're ready to eat. We just got done eating. It was amazing. Thank you, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Jonathan is still eating. Delicious. Delicious. But it's about to get dark, and we're going to go ahead and knock out dishes before the rain yeah. comes. And if just it good. comes, I need to recheck the weather. I well, I just, I just heard some thunder. Oh, so. okay. Well, we still need to check it anyway. We're going to do dishes and just hang out, go to bed if it gets rainy. Mm -hmm. And we will catch y'all in the morning. See ya. Good morning. Good morning. It's raining. Heavenly. And it just started about 30 minutes ago. But we knew it was going to do this. So. so it kind of puts a little damper on our plans. It's going to make it more difficult for us to be able to do a lot today. But I have a plan. I, I think I can save the day. I think I can save the day. I know that we were wanting to go to another feature down the road and we are still going to try to go there and see if it's not raining there because we checked we have a little bit of phone service and it's not raining there right now but first we're just going to get up in this rain and do some breakfast <sighs> what are we doing this for i might just not cook and just do the other stuff that might be a lot easier right now yeah. just heat up some coffee yeah so i'm going to coffee and then i picked up cinnamon rolls and muffins. I'm not a big fan of the cinnamon rolls, but the yeah. muffins were great. Let me just say I'm very disappointed in myself because it was not good. I should have went to this other bakery and got some really good homemade stuff, but it is what it is. Happens every once in a while. However, we're fixing to go to Pedestal Rock, and we will see you there. Hola. We're at Pedestal Rock. There's two trails here, Pedestal Rocks, King's Bluff. And we're going to be doing Pedestal Rock first, 2.2 miles. Which like somebody didn't like that. They yeah. didn't like it was 2.2 miles. Yeah, they lied. And then this one's 1 1.7 on King's Bluff, so we're going to do both of them. There's a blackberry. That's ready. Try it, Kelly. What, are you serious? It's good, but it's so sour. My jaws are like... Hey, ain't sour. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a little tart. Whoo! It was good though. Hey you guys, I just wanna tell you. It's like 75 degrees here. Feels great. 
<laughs> hey, you know, if you're from Arkansas, that's a win-win. Yeah, because when we left Little Rock yesterday... 95. 95, yeah. That's awesome. So I think that is Pedestal Rock. Let me check. If you've never used this app, we really like it. Hiking Project. And we can see trails. And it'll show you. No, it's saying that's not it. What? Hmm. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's impressive. Well, let's go down to the actual Pedestal Rock. It's saying yeah. it's a little bit further. So we lied to you. It's not Pedestal Rock. Okay, maybe we don't see it. It's just a view. Oh, okay. I bet this is just a view. You oh. can't see it from the office of the tree. Onward. Oh, yeah. Oh, people do camp down there. Yeah. Oh, that's uptown high rent. See, this is something I could easily backpack for for the first time back on it. Is this the formation of a natural bridge in the future? Yeah, there's a crack right there. Wow. And there's a hole right here too. Man, this is too cool. Oh man, that was pedestal rock. What was? That rock we saw earlier that we said wasn't pedestal rock. It I finally uploaded and threw us past it. Okay, so Cody's map was not loading properly and that was pedestal rock. I hope that you guys could see it clearly enough. Um, so we're wrong, that was pedestal rock. But this whole trail is really cool. There's a bunch of huge bluffs and it looks like a cave that you can walk down underneath a bunch of natural bridges and like here's just a little sneak peek right here let me get up here and i'll show you i mean it's all down there yeah i mean you could you could have fun down here for days so yeah there's a cave down there and it looks like people camp so yeah see there's a trail Jonathan? Oh. Yeah. and all back over there So we found the cave where everybody's camps at when they come through here. Here's one of them. It's huge. And then it just keeps going. It feels cool in here. Oh, this is freaky. Hey, this is where that fence is. Oh. I don't know how far that keeps going. Oh, you got a flashlight? I don't know. I got a photo of Jonathan about to come out. All right, we went real deep in this cave so far, and there's all this water coming out of the spring on the swallow. Check it out.
So we're on the King's Bluff Trail, and this is the bluff, right? Well, the King's Bluff itself is just around the bend, but... Oh, uh, okay. So we're going to hike around the bend to see the actual King's Bluff, but this is a trail right here. Oh, hey, many of y'all ask what uh, do I use for drone photography. We have the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Really like it. And it came with the smart controller. Uh, we got that separately. Uh, we like using the smart controller versus just not getting it because you have to attach it to your cell phone and then it runs down your cell phone battery at the same time. Wow. Looks like an AC up here. Oh, another waterfall over there. That's where Kelly went? Yeah. Good little drop. It is a good little drop. King's Bluff, everybody. It's a big bluff. I'm ready to go swimming there, are you? Yeah, it's hot. Let's go get to some waterways. Let's see what Kelly wants to do. Well, look at that spring. It's just like going right on the edge of that. Oh, man. Like it goes all the way to there. She's on it. What are you saying to Princess? Are you ready to get into a lot of water? Yes. Hey, guess where this water goes? Where? This water's going exactly where we're going. Really? Yep. Okay. Is that where everybody wants to go? Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll see you there. We're here at the North Fork of the Illinois Bayou and check out how beautiful this place is. We just found a little spring. Look at this. Isn't that not beautiful? <laughs> Whoa! Don't make fun jumping on the fall. Whoa, there's a big fish. You see it? Um, right there. It looks like a rainbow. Oh, that might be one of those bottom feeders. Oh boy, that's a big spider. Is that a big spider. Yeah, I almost put my hands on it trying to hold on to this rock here. Yeah, that's shallow water. I mean, that's a that's a pretty big spider. What do you think, Jonathan? Oh yeah. Woo! Woo! Come on, what are you? The water is fine. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh boy, it's cold when you get that cold coming up too. <laughs> wow. That's crazy how cold it is. Quick. That rock on my feet is freezing. It's like an ice cube. The rock is? Yeah. What was that? I told you it was going to be we're all pretty hungry so i think we're gonna go back to camp i'm gonna cook dinner and we're just gonna relax there it's feeling pretty good outside this creek is so beautiful bye creek You're good. Uh, that tower, you need to go that, yeah. We are back at camp, and yes, I've done a wardrobe change. It's a little chilly, um, but there's thunder once again in the background. I don't know what's going on here, guys. It's like the Amazon rainforest. Is that a scratch? Yeah, but I don't think y'all can see it. Anyway, I'm about to get dinner started. We're having Italian tonight, of course. It's my uh, tomato-based and oily pasta with the herbs. Um, haven't had it in a while, so I'm excited to eat it. And we got some French bread, so I'm going to get that started here in a minute. Jonathan's going to get a good fire going for us. And hopefully we can enjoy the evening without rain. If the rain wants to hold off to about 9, 10, that's fine. Voila, bon appetit, dinner is ready. Our friend from last weekend is back, little bunny right there. Oh. There he goes. Is he leaving? Oh, there he is. He's been hanging out up under our canopy again. How you doing, buddy? Last week, we also went and scouted the new area that we're going to have our next cleanup at. It's going to be Mazarin Creek. It's the largest feeder creek that goes into uh, Lake Hamilton and Hot Springs. It will be on September the 12th 
from 10 to 1. All the information is on our Facebook page for the event, so you can go there and find it. We'll also post the link to that event in the bottom of this blog. We are so excited to be partnering with Washita Outdoor Outfitters. Uh, this will be the first time we partner with them on a project like this, and they were out there scouting with us too, so we're excited. However, I think we're going to call it for tonight, right? Getting dark. About 8.30. About 8.30, and Jonathan, you had a blast today? Yeah, it was fun. Beautiful hike. Dinner was delicious, and it's been a good evening. I'd buy that for a dollar. I like your style, guys. Well, we will see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. This morning, we're getting ate up by fleas. <laughs> Seriously. I don't know what's going on, but they're bad today. I mean, we knew they were here, but they are... I don't know what it is this morning. It's not good. Um, so, the plan for today is uh, breakfast, French toast, coffee, packing up. We're going to go back to that creek we were at yesterday, hang out. Enjoy the weather because it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Of course, they're saying there's going to be a chance of rain. It's like the Amazon rainforest. It just appears out of nowhere. I don't know. Um, so, we're just going to try to enjoy it as much as we can. And uh, right now, I think we need coffee and probably some kind of anti-itch cream. I mean, we've so. got spray. <laughs> Spray's not working, obviously. It's organic. It usually works. Really, I think it's for mosquitoes. But eucalyptus is the oil that... Um, fleas are not supposed to like and I put a ton of eucalyptus in there I don't know what's going on um, but I'm going to do breakfast okay the french toast is done now we're going to eat All right, we're leaving camp and we are headed to the creek. We are down at the creek again, or the bayou actually. Of course, I always thought bayous was like a Louisiana thing, but apparently a bayou is just a waterway that's small. But I always thought bayous meant like slow moving water with some cypress trees, stuff like that. But apparently it's just, I think I researched it and it's actually French or like Cherokee for I'm not real sure if it's French or Cherokee, but it's supposed to mean something about waterways. However, we're down here and Kelly is about to do some yoga. We're waiting on Jonathan because he's driving his truck. All right, then. So Kelly's going to stay here and lay out. Jonathan and I we're gonna hike up further that way and get some content, see what we can find, and we are allowed to have 30 minutes. And then we can go 30 minutes up or turn back around, because I know the problem with him and I, we will continue to go, and that's a problem. Pretty cool how those rocks are just stacked on top of each other and just kind of balanced and pretty neat.
we really think that this is a mountain lion footprint because it has the back here and then it's got four paws. And I mean, look how big it is compared to my hand. That's it right there. And I've got pretty big hands. <laughs> I wonder if I can get it from that side. Yeah. Let us know if uh, if you can make it out. I don't know if I can make it out. Let us know if that's a mountain lion footprint. Of course, you can't. I can't see it in the camera. We're gonna put this in there anyways. Let you know that there are possibly mountain lions out here. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It's time to go. Or should we keep going? No, 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 no. Need to go. I really want to keep going. I do too. I just want to see what's up there. All right, let's go back to Kelly. See you there. We just got back to Kelly. And honey, did you miss me? I did. Did anything exciting happen while we were going? Nothing. Hey, well, we think that we saw a mountain lion paw print. It's probably about that big. Interesting. Yeah. That's How far cool. down? Uh, how far down? Mm, I don't know, not too far. I mean, we didn't go that far, really. Past that hole Oh yeah, well past that. Yeah. It was past that, a long stretch. And the coolest part we saw was just past the swimming hole, so if you want to go check it out later, we more than welcome. Yeah, we're going to lay out and swim that way. We're going to get in the water. Oh. Yeah, we're ready to relax. I think we're about to go back to the swimming hole that we went to yesterday and do a little relaxation, right? Right? Yeah. Ready to relax? Jonathan, you tired? Yeah, I'm tired? I've been relaxing. I'm not going. Are you still tired from the hike yesterday, Kelly? No, I'm good. You good? I'm tired. We're gonna end this weekend here, and we had a great time. Pedestal Rock, that was really cool. King's Bluff. King's Bluff, Pedestal Rock, and then going through all those little caves that are Pedestal yeah, Rock was awesome. Yeah, that was really cool. I enjoyed that a lot. Other than the flea issue. Yeah. I don't know why it was so bad. Man, time. it was crazy this morning. I felt like I was being uh, attacked. I felt like my soul was being ripped from my body, <laughs> and I was being eaten alive. It was miserable. However, if you like this vlog, make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit that notification bell button, and, and subscribe. subscribe. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. And we will catch you on the other. Bye.